Hello and welcome to this new video, which will explain the link between Autopano and Autopano Video. With Autopano Video, you can create 360 degree videos, synchronize them, stitch them, level the exposures and colors between the different cameras, straighten the horizon and render your results. You can also create standard videos combining different projections using the authoring mode. With standard projects this will usually be enough, but if the project is complex or needs any sort of manual or advanced editing of the stitching, you need to move to Autopano. If there are stitching issues caused by parallax, low details or the wrong camera settings, you need to be able to edit the control points between the cameras manually, creating or removing links between cameras. For example, here in the snow where there is very little detail, or it could be in the sky, the ground, or even in a room with very repetitive patterns. You may need to use different moments in your video to find a point with enough content that can be linked. You may also need to use the masking tool in Autopano Giga to adjust the frontiers between the cameras. When you click on Edit in Autopano Video, the panorama of your current position in the video is created as a point pano file and is opened in Autopano giving you access to all of the current panorama stitching settings. Once you've finished your edits, you only need to save for the edits to be transferred back to Autopano Video. To sum up, Autopano Video and Autopano use the same stitching engine, one stitching videos and the other stitching photos, but if you need access to advanced editing of your stitching, you will need Autopano too.